Do you know what time it is? It's tab time. Come on inside the room. Open your heart and mind. You never know what you find when you let a little love inside. Hey. Hello, friends of mine. Come on in, it's tab time. Work. <laughs> Well, hello there. I'm Miss Tab, and welcome to my garden. I'm just working on pulling the weeds out so my flowers can grow. Hmm. Now, that doesn't look like a weed. Holy guacamole, Miss Tab. I almost got you with my pit. Are you okay? Hello there, Ivy. I'm fine. You missed me. This is Ivy the Avocado. He's one of my best friends. Here is your pit back, Ivy. Do you want to play soccer with me? I can kick real far with these new soccer shoes. Oh, Ivy, I would love to play with you, but I have to finish the work in my garden. If not, the weeds would take over, and that would be bad. But wouldn't you rather play with me than do work? Of course I would. But sometimes there's work to do, even yard work. But sometimes I don't want to do that. Wanting to do work is not the only reason we do it. I actually really enjoy growing my own flowers and my own food. It makes me feel proud. And there's lots of other reasons that we work, like to make money so that we can pay for things, like those soccer shoes. Whoa, I never knew someone had to work to get me these. They did, Avi. Can I tell you something that's been on my mind? I can? Very good. You know, I've been thinking a lot about work and why we do it. And you may be wondering why your grown-up has to go away all day and what they do when they're gone. And that makes me wonder what different types of work there are. Hear that sound, everyone? That's our friend Breezy the wind chime. We should go say hello. Oh, but I can't go yet because I have to finish the work in my garden. Hey, I can finish your work, Miss Tab. That way we can play soccer when you come back. <laughs> well, thank you, Ivy. That is so nice of you. Now, which ones are weeds? Eh, I'll just pull them all up. Only the long and thin ones, Ivy. Oh, okay. Goodbye, Miss Tab. <laughs> Well, hello there, Breezy. You sure have a beautiful time. What's that, Breezy? It's time to go on a special adventure to find out more about work. Now, we go there using our imagination. Would you like to go with me? You would? Very good. All right, Breezy, I will see you later. Are you ready? Well, let's go. <laughs> Look, we're in our magic playroom. Let's fill it with our imagination. Let's move our bodies so that we wake up our minds. What do our imaginations have for us this time? Let's find out. Imagination, my imagination. Look where my imagination took us today, to a space station. Lenny, is that you? Hey, Miss Tab, look at me! I'm a planet! <laughs> well, hello there, Lenny. This is one of my best friends, Lenny the Lightning Bug. Ready to get to work to find out more about, well, work. Sure! Hey, look at that! It's a giant corn! <laughs> it's a rocket ship. A uh, rocket ship! All systems are a go. We're ready for today's launch. Look at that scientist. She builds rocket ships for work. Out of this world! Does she get to fly the rocket ship, too? No, that's what the astronaut does for work. The rocket scientist makes the ship, and the astronaut flies it. Flying a rocket ship isn't work. It's a blast! Ah! <laughs> it is, Lenny. And the astronaut worked really hard to learn how to fly a rocket ship at space school. Ooh, can we go to space school, Miss Tab? Please. Sure, but first. Macaroni. <laughs> space suits. Space suits. Yeah. 
See the teacher, Lenny? He's working to train that astronaut. Wait, so does that mean my teacher at school is also working? He is, Lenny. Very good. And that custodian is also working. What's a custodian? It's someone who cleans and takes care of a place like an office or the space school. Look how shiny he made this. Let's take it for a spin, Miss Tab. Well, why not? Whoa! 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 whoa, whoa. 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 This work is making me dizzy. <laughs> me too. Let's get out of here. Ooh, we're just in time for the lunch. Three! Two, one, blast off! Yay! Look at how many different types of workers there are down there. I see a doctor, mission control, announcer, plumber, principal, painter, hot dog vendor, wizard. That's not a wizard. That's our rocket scientist's father. He's brought her kids to watch the launch. They all seem very proud of the work she did today. Wait, she's a rocket scientist and a parent? Yes, she's both. She works at the Space Center all day, and now that she's done, she can spend time with her family. Wow, grown-ups do a lot. Is that why my parents are sometimes tired when they get home? It could be, Lenny. Grown-ups work hard, so they may need a minute to rest before they play with you. I'm still amazed by how many workers we saw today. Me too. It makes me wonder. How can different kinds of workers work together to get something done? What's that, Breezy? It's time to visit Miss Tab's lab? Well, that's a great place to answer our question. Goodbye, Lenny. Goodbye, Miss Tab. Well, hello. I'm Miss Tab, and welcome to my lab. Oh, hello, Miss Tab. Name's Jackie of all trades, and when it comes to work, I'm the big cheese, the head boss, the captain of the company. Yeah, I do it all. I run a business. Oh, well, what does that mean? Running a business means that I'm in charge of everything that my workers do, and my work is making and selling toys. Oh, that's wonderful. You know, I was just wondering how different workers come together to get things done. And now I get to watch you make toys. Watch me make toys? Mm -hmm. You're going to make them with me. I'd love to have you join the business. What do you say? I don't know. What do you think? Should we join Jackie and do some work and make toys? We should? All right. You're hired, Miss Tab. How do we start? With paperwork. <gasps> Sign here and here. Draw a picture of a frog here. Jump once. Ah. Done. <laughs> okay. Now, let's get to work. Okay. Today, we are making a giant toy robot. First stop, the design studio. Ah. Oh. Ah. The design studio is where all of the drawing happens. To make a giant toy robot, we're going to have to draw one first. Oh, so is drawing a type of work? It is. As designers, we draw the instructions other workers follow to build the robot. That makes sense. How do you want the robot to look? Well, uh, I would like it to be red like a strawberry and, oh, have a very friendly face. And I would like for it to talk. Copy that, coworker. So something like this. Oh, well, that's very nice, but, um, do you mind if I maybe show you a couple of my ideas? Oh, sure. Working together and sharing ideas is very, very important. Oh, I like that. Interesting choice. All right. Oh, oh yes, I like where you're going. The claws. The claws are a nice touch. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. The color is working. The color is working. How's that? Roverific, Miss Tab. Now we have to get this drawing to the robot parts factory. That's where robot parts are made by other workers. Who are the other workers? We are. Now, it takes a lot of different workers to make a robot. Starting now, we are robot arm makers. Oh. <sighs> okay, now let's have a look at our drawing and see how we could make a robot arm from what's on this table. Well, our robot arm has three parts, so I think we'll need three things to come together and make it work. Oh! This could be the first part. Oh, I've got the second part. Uh, Jackie, I don't think the toy shark is part of our drawing over there. I think you're right. 
toy sharks are for making bigger toy sharks. <laughs> okay, but I do think... Oh, I have a second part here. But seems like something is still missing. Here, let me give you a hand. <gasps> That's it! Okay, <laughs> I got it. Fantastic <laughs> factory work, Miss Tab. Now we can put it on... This! How did this get here? Oh, well, other workers who were in charge of building the body of the robot put it together while we were making the arm. Oh, wow. Here you go. All right. Here we go. Hello, everyone. It's alive! Alive! So what do we do next? Take me to the store, please. Good idea. Okay, the next work that we need to do is selling the robot. Welcome to Robot Toys and Other Noise, Miss Tab. Oh, so are you doing a different kind of work now? That's right, because to get a toy robot to your house, workers have to design it, workers have to build it, and now workers have to sell it. Oh, oh that's so many workers working together. It is. It's kind of like how baseball players work together by playing different positions in a game. Now, would you like to buy a big red robot? Oh, yes. I don't know how I would pay for it. You do now. You earned this by doing work. Really? Okay, well, I would like to buy one robot, please. Oh! <laughs> ah, the robot is yours. All sales are final. No if ands or bots. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jackie, for coming today and working with us. You are welcome, Miss Stab. Wow. Who knew making a toy robot took so many workers working together? I did. Well, the robot knew, and now we know too. <laughs> oh, that's Breezy. I'm gonna help Jackie pack up the robot, and then I'll see you at craft time. <laughs> well, hello. I'm Miss Tab. Can you tell me your names and how old you are? Hi, my name is Nia. I'm five years old. Oh, well, very nice to meet you, Nia. I'm Ace and I'm six years old. Well, very nice to meet you, Ace. Do your grown ups or your parents ever go away and they say, I gotta go to work? Yes. Yes? How does it make you feel when they go to work? Mm, not really happy. <laughs> sad. It makes you sad because sometimes you want them to stay at home and play with you? But we have to all work sometimes, did you know that? Yeah. Yes. I think it would be fun if we made a craft all about work. I have a friend who can help us with that. Would you like to meet him? Yes. Yes. OK, here he comes. DJ Crafty. Hi, DJ Crafty. Hello there, DJ Crafty. Hey, Miss Tab. Hey, kids. I just came from DJing a birthday party. Oh, DJ Crafty, is that other work that you do? It is. I love DJing and crafting, so I made them both my work. Sometimes I craft and DJ at the same time. It's a little messy, but it gets the job done. Do you have a craft that we could work on today? Miss Tab, I have exactly the craft. Yeah, let's do this. All right. Today, we're making business buddies. Business buddies? Well, business is a type of work. That's right. To make these, here's what we'll need. A photo or drawing of yourself, safety scissors, blue, blank paper, and crayons or markers. And then you have your grown-up take a blank sheet of paper and cut out your body shape. Like so, like that. I don't need to cut out my body. It already comes in my shape. Perfect rectangle. Lucky you, DJ Crafty. <laughs> so we have our little buddy here. This is actually us, right? And so we have the different things that we may want to be when we go to work. I have here, I have like a chef or a doctor. What do you have here? I have a doctor, a teacher, a soccer player. Ooh, which one would you like to be? A soccer player. All right, Ace, a soccer player it is then. Mia, what about you? I'm going to be a pilot. <gasps> You're going to be a pilot? Wow. Well, go ahead and grab that. And then we also will draw your face on there, OK? Yes. Yes. All right. What's your favorite thing about playing soccer? Winning. Very good. I like winning, too. Mm -hmm. Do you ever take the ball away? Yes. You do? So that means you put in work. All right. Oh, look at that pink. Very good, Nia. Thank you. You got a face on yours already in your eyes? Yeah, more than one, <laughs> two eyes. Well, because she's going to be flying a plane, so she got to be able to look everywhere. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, look at that. You got a stripe going down the side. Yeah. All right, now you can glue it on there. And then don't forget, you got to draw your face on there. You know what Miss Tab just realized? I have a doctor's uniform, but I also put a chef hat in my pan with my broccoli in it. Because ah. I can be both things, can't I? Yeah. Right? So whether I'm a doctor or a chef, I'm still just Miss Tab underneath it all. That's right, Miss Tab. <laughs> you know why? Because work is not something that you are. It's something that you do. And it's something you should always be proud of. I made a business buddy too, Miss Tab. It's me as the president. Being a president is also work. And it's a reminder that either of you could grow up to be president as well. Show DJ Crafty what you got there, Ace. What are you going to do as a soccer player? I'll kick the ball into the goal. Nice work, Ace. Thank you. Neil, would you like to show DJ Crafty what you got so far? Very cool. Woo, I love that, Neil. I'm going to be a food pilot. And what does the food pilot do? Give people food. All right. DJ Crafty, thank you so very much for coming today and showing us this craft. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. Bye, Nia. Bye, Ace. Bye, Bye DJ Crafty. Crafty. Could you help me clean up? Yes. Nia, what about you? Can you help me clean yes. up? Yes. All right. Very good. Well, thank you for that. Oh, that's breezy. We're going to clean up, and then I'll see you at snack time. <laughs> it's snack time. Don't forget to wash your hands. It's snack time. It's snack time. Let's make something tasty. Right. Well, hello there, Bernie. Hi, Miss Tab. Where's Starla? I don't know what happened to Starla. She was going to work on the dishes yesterday, but then she just disappeared. Oh. Amanda, help! Wow, I miss Starla so much, I'm hearing her voice in my head. A little help, please. Bernie, it sounds like it's coming from over here. Amanda, uh, I think that Starla may be under this pile of dirty dishes. How do we get her out? We have to do the dishes. Stuck under a wet sandwich, which sounds super fun, I know, but is actually not. It's okay, Starlet. Well, let's go get our snacks started. All right. You know, snacks keep us going throughout our workday. And earlier, Lenny and I visited a space center, so I thought we should make a space themed pack and snack, something that we can take with us while we're riding a rocket ship on our way to the moon or just when we're cleaning up our toys. Wow! A rocket launch? Love it! I'm over the moon excited. So we will need a container, but we have to make sure that it has a lid, like so, like that. And then we have paper, crayons, slices of bread. We have chocolate-covered cranberries, granola, fruit, leather. We have blueberries, strawberries, almond butter, cookie cutters, and cupcake holders. Let's get into it! You will be in charge of making our sun sandwiches. That sounds great. Take some almond butter, okay? And then Bernie, for you, you can draw planets that we'll put on the top of our pack and snack lid. Oh, I love drawing, Ms. Tab. Someday, I want to work as an artist. I can make pictures that look just like the real thing. All right, so I'm gonna start filling up the cupcake holders with my strawberry. That's what we're using to make our supernova. We have the dried fruit, leather, and then we have our blueberries that we'll put in the middle. And we'll sit that here. Amazing! And then we'll take our little mini cupcake holders. And now, what's in outer space? Sometimes we have asteroids, right? Okay, well, let's get our granola. And see how it looks like a little <laughs> asteroid there? And we'll put those in there. Oh. Wow! And then also add some of your chocolate-covered cranberries. Yes, please. So I'll take the sandwiches. Thank you very much, Starla. And I'm going to take our cookie cutter. And we put it on top, put a little pressure on it. And then it comes out. Mm. We'll make a star. Push down. And if you are doing this at home, you have your grown-up help you, right? A star. Look at that. Bernie, can you hand me a snack section? Bernie? Hello? Are you okay? Ta-da! Art! Wow, you drew that? You are amazing! Thanks. I worked really hard on it. I was there for hours just drawing and listening to music. 
Well, you know, playing music while working is a great way to make it fun. Can you think of any other helpful ways to get work done? <gasps> we can make a list of work we have to do and check things off when we're done. Checking things off is the best. I also like underlining. Oh, nice, Starla. Making a list is a great way to get work done. Woo, how great was that? Oh, Bernie, what a list. <laughs> okay, so now let's put our sandwiches in our pack snack. We'll start with our sun, and on top, we'll put our star. <laughs> All right, Bernie, are you almost done with your drawing? I'm ready. <gasps> Very good. That's amazing. <laughs> okay, we'll put that on top of our packing snack, and we'll place our lid on top. Are we ready to try it? Houston, uh, we are clear for taste off. Okay, here you go. <laughs> Yum! I love stuffing space in my face. <laughs> you know, in space, it's so quiet, you can hear yourself think. That's how space and this kitchen are different. <laughs> I should have seen it coming. <laughs> You hear that? That's Breezy. She says it's story time. All right, goodbye, Bernie. Goodbye, Starla. Bye, Bye Miss Tab! Tab. <laughs> okay. Well, now it's time to tell the story of our day. But first, I need to find my friend Lovey. You remember her, right? She looks like a glowing heart. Would you help me find her? You would? Thank you. Do you see her anywhere? You do? On top of this clock back here. Well, hello there, lovey. Would you like to join us for story time? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, the wonderful thing about lovey is that she always knows how I'm feeling. As my feelings change, lovey's colors change too. Like right now, I'm feeling happy to be here with you at story time. So, lovey is green for happiness. <laughs> Let's get started. Okay. Today in the garden, Avi asked why I had to work instead of playing with him. And it made me curious about why we work and the many different types of work we do. And you see, Lovey is orange for curiosity. Then we went on our special adventure and followed a parent who worked at a rocket ship station. And then in the lab, we met Jackie of all trades and we worked together to make a big red toy robot. I was a little bit frustrated when I couldn't buy it. And that's why Lovey is red for frustration. But then, Jackie told me because I had worked, I had earned enough money so that I could buy the robot. And that made me feel proud. And that's why Lovey is purple for pride. How do you feel when you think about work? However you feel is the right way to feel because those are your feelings and they matter. You can even feel different feelings all at the same time. And that's okay too. Isn't that right, Lovey? <laughs> we discovered a lot today, didn't we? Remember, sometimes we all have work to do. Even Breezy, and she's saying it's time to say goodbye. Thank you for this time today. The friends we made, the food we ate, the stories and imagining. So glad we had this time with you today. I've had the best time with you all today. You are amazing. So amazing that I think you should give yourself a big old hug, and I'll give myself one too. Mm. <laughs> Doesn't that feel good? So glad we had this time with you today. Well, I'm gonna go out into the garden and tell Ivy all about our adventures today. And you can tell your family and friends at home too. And I want you to have a good day today. But even if you can't have a good one, don't you dare go messing up nobody else's hymn. Very good. I love you and I'll see you next time. 